What's going on, movie goers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, we got to talk about Prey and how Prey has helped rejuvenate this Predator franchise that it needed. This movie was so well done. This movie exceeded my expectations on every single level, you guys. It was amazing. I had such a good time. I've seen this movie three times on Hulu, you guys, which is really unfortunate because I feel like this movie was so good. It definitely deserved some kind of theatrical release because it was so, so well made. It really brought you back to the essence of what this franchise was built upon, that our first original film with Arnold Schwarzenegger and that star-studded cast, or even the sequel with Danny Glover in the hot, steamy summer of L.A. I absolutely loved this movie, and I'm so excited for the future. You know why? Because now this brings some, some open doors to potential sequels that can actually be good within the franchise. Because the last couple of films, you guys, with the Alien vs. Predator movie and, you know, the recent one, The Predators, oh, they've just been terrible. The franchise has taken a massive hit. But with this, this definitely gives the opportunity to exceed and really bring, you know, much more great success for sequels. I cannot wait for the future of Predator after watching Prey, you guys. Now, Prey, woo, we got we to gotta, we gotta talk about it, you guys. We got to talk about this film. So the origin story of the Predator in the world of the Comanche Nation. 300 years ago, Naru, a skilled female warrior, fights to protect her tribe against one of the first highly evolved Predators to land on Earth. And let me tell you guys something. His one goal, his one mission on Earth is to kill and hunt. And that is what he does. Not only does he go after, you know, actual humans, he goes after animals. And it is crazy cool. There's just one whole sequence of this Predator fighting this bear. I was losing my mind because that shit was dope. This bear is a massive ginormous bear. You guys know bears, right? Grizzly bears. Whenever they stand up, they tall as shit. So he was going at it with it. The bear, I thought the bear had him on the ropes. I was like, oh shit, what's going on? But they ended up ultimately, you know, Predator. You know, you know, we know Predators. He ended up winning that fight and he picks up the bear and he does that massive roar. Oh, it was so good. The action sequences in this movie, you guys, were phenomenal. Phenomenal. Amber Mid-Thunder, as Naru, was so good. Really, really good. I loved her fighting choreography, her weapon, that axe, and her dog. Oh, my God. The way she utilized her dog, you guys, was so freaking awesome and adorable. She was so good. Definitely one of the best highlights of this movie was her performance, you guys. I love the whole Comanche tribe and everything. You know, everything felt, you know, authentic. Everything really looked great. And I was so impressed, man. Granted, this film was really short. I think it was like an hour and 30 minutes. But it got to the point. Boom, boom, boom. And once it got going, it never stopped. It never stopped. And I just loved, you know, the main character of the story and how she had, you know, to really prove to herself and prove to her tribe that she is this ultimate warrior. You know what I mean? And that, you know, her brother, you know, was kind of taking up all the highlights and stuff like that. And she was jealous of it, you know, until she discovers, yo, something else is on this damn planet. Something is here, you guys. And man, when things start to unravel, oh my gosh, it was crazy, crazy. Some of the kills in this movie were just brutal. And this predator, this, this, this predator, right? It's definitely the, the design look is a more of an ancient predator and they do evolve over time, right? Whatever. He was terrifying. He had less armor, and I loved his mask. It was made from, like, this strong kind of adamantium bone that couldn't break. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is dope. But they still kind of did have that high evolutionary of, you know, we're still, you know, we're, 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 we're well evolved. You know, we still have this high tech. So whenever he went camouflage, and let me tell you something. When this fool went camouflage, right, I was like, oh, you little, you, you punk, you a punk. Because when he wasn't, you know, when he didn't, when he wasn't using his weapons, and when he was going kind of hand to hand, you know, with the tribes, he was kind of getting worked. And I was like, yo, if you didn't have your camouflage and you didn't have your weapons and you were just, you know, going hand to hand, legit, you would have got worked, bro. So every time he uses camouflage, I was like, oh, you little punk, whatever, whatever. But I get it, you know, he's there to hunt, he's there, you know, for the prey, right? But man, you guys, the action sequences in this film were so well choreographed. It was dope, like really good. Like when they. When they used um, Naru and her brother as bait, 
and then the predator shows up and he just starts decking people and he uses that shield and he's just i was like oh, oh this is just dope i had such a fun time with this film it was really good and did you see naru go out to you know to go hand to hand with him at the end of this film it was so dope oh uh, the way she used that quick sand sliced mud to get him you guys and oh it was so awesome so awesome i was so impressed with this movie so impressed. Everybody really was great. I love, I like I said, I love the design of the Predator. I love that he was tall and lanky, not like the Predator and like Alien versus Predator where they're like short and stumpy. Like I love like when they're tall and massive, like, you know, dating back like to the first two films. That, that design, man, it was so freaking good. The dreadlocks were a little bit thinner than normal, but I just really like how they enhanced the Predator's design. I was so impressed. Um, some of the scenes were CGI, obviously, you know, you can't have it be a full, fully, you know, the, the full effect of some of the things that the Predator was doing. And I was completely fine with that. Um, I'm so happy where they didn't go the route of having the massive ultimate Predator who shows up to Earth, who's completely CGI. Oh, I hate that crap. Oh, I'm, I'm a huge practical effects kind of guy. I love practical effects. I love it. I love it. So when I see them really using practical effects and util utilizing it to the best of their ability, I'm like... Thank you. I appreciate it. It just enhances the film that much. And I feel like if you're going to be an actor on set, that's what you would want. You don't want to act somebody, you know, act with somebody, one of your colleagues who's like in a motion capture suit, who's doing like gold, green screen. Like you want to be, you know, in the presence of that predator. You know what I mean? In a full costume and suit. And man, it was so good, you guys. Oh, I love the homages to, <laughs> to the original films. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I was like, oh! Oh, I got that. <laughs> and then the last one of the gun, you guys, the pistol, the pistol. I was like, oh, shit. I think it was, it said 17, 15 or something like that. 17, 18. Correct me if I'm wrong. But that was the pistol at the end of Predator 2. When, you know, Danny Glover's character, Harrigan, defeats the Predator and all the Predators are surrounding him and he throws him the gun. He's like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. But I was like, how did the Predator get the gun? Because... Naru had the gun at the end of this movie. I was like, so are you telling me that, you know, they send, ended up sending up more Predators and they ended up killing the tribe? It could be a possibility. But I was like, oh, maybe it was just like a little homage to Predator 2. And I was like, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I love how they paid the homage to the first two films. You know what I mean? This is like a, pre a prequel to those first two films. I feel like everything else, you know, the Predators, you know, a AVP, all those films, or then just not canon with the first two movies. And I'm fine with that. I'm completely fine with that. But now I want more movies. Now I want more Predator movies. All oh, the pressure's on, Alien. Good luck. <laughs> Alien Covenant. And, you know, oh, man, the pressure is on. The pressure is on. We still haven't had a good Alien movie. And God knows when, you guys. I didn't like Alien Covenant. Prometheus was okay. But, you know, uh, next next step, whatever they decide to do with Aliens, good luck. The pressure is on. And this went straight to Hulu. The pressure is on. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought about Prey. Thoughts and opinions. I want to know where you guys would rank it within, you know, the, the Predator franchise. I definitely would give it a tiny slight edge over Predator to go. I'm going to go Predator. Predator. No, I'm going to go Predator. I'm going to go Prey. Then I'm going to go Predator 2. Then I'm going to go The Pre No. Then I'll go Predators. Then I will go AVP, then I will go probably AVP 2, and then The Predators. That's where I would rank it, you guys. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.